Hello everyone and welcome to Linux Forensics here at Pentester Academy. In this video we're going to show you how to actually collect RAM with Lime. So I've already booted up my virtual machine and as a reminder if you are mounting a thumb drive inside of it you have to go to devices, USB devices and make sure you tick that thumb drive. So I've added my Lime modules to this thumb drive. You can see there's a couple of them here. Now I need to check and see if I have an appropriate module. And I should already know this because earlier I collected the information from Uname. And sure enough, here's my module for the kernel 316.0-30 generic. All I need to do is insert the module. The module I want is Lime-316-030 dash generic KO and I will give it a path equal to TCP colon 4444 and I will give it a format equal to line. Now it will sit and it will wait and on my forensics workstation possibly under my cases folder I will just do this. I will say netcat 192, 168, 56, 101, 4444 Pipe that to ram.lime. And off it goes. This will take just a couple of minutes. It will vary depending on the speed of your network and also the size of the RAM in your target machine. So I gave this target machine three gigabytes of RAM. So this should dump all three gigabytes and again it's going to put it into a structure and it's also going to do some compression for me. So this file should in theory be less than three gigabytes long. So once this is collected for now we're just going to put it to the side and in later videos, we will show you how to use volatility to actually look at this information. And there you have it. It's already done. So if I do an ls-l, I will see that, in fact, this file is a little bit over 2 gigabytes long. And that's all you have to do. So... It's pretty simple to use Lime. Again, try not to compile Lime on your target system. And also make sure you have an identical kernel. And if you don't have an identical kernel, you could easily copy the file. So if I go back to my subject system here, the files you're looking for under lib modules, if you at ls, you should see your kernel version or versions that have been installed. And if you simply copy this directory structure, you should really only need the stuff below build but it probably wouldn't hurt if you just copied it at this level. That way you would also have a nice name. If you want to store a bunch of these out on a disk somewhere, you would know exactly what each kernel version was. Incidentally, this system keeps popping up little warnings saying that a system problem was detected. Do you want me to report it? And that's further evidence that there might be a rootkit installed or something else that's causing the system to act strangely. 
which is why they called you in the first place. Well, that's all for this video. As always, if you're enjoying these videos here at Pentester Academy, please tell a friend. We'll see you next time.